Physics uses the language of mathematics to explain how the universe works. And an important part of physics is the comparison of theoretical predictions with measurements. But part of the problem with taking measurements in the real world is that you can never have an exact value of something because there always exists a more accurate measurement. Since absolute measurements cannot be taken in the real world, we use significant figures to tell us the accuracy of a measurement. Suppose we have a ruler that measures in centimeters. Here we see that the block of wood is 47 centimeters, therefore we have two significant figures. But if we look closer, the precision of our measuring stick increases, and we see that the block of wood measures 46.9. The number of significant figures changes to 3. If we continue increasing the precision of our measuring stick, we can see that the block of wood now measures 46.964 and we have five significant figures. We can continue increasing the precision of our measuring tool to get a more accurate measurement, but eventually we have to stop at some point or else we will keep on going forever. Therefore, we use significant figures to tell us the point of accuracy at which we stop taking a measurement. Now, not all digits in a measurement are considered significant. Suppose if we added a zero in front. How would this change the number of significant figures? This doesn't change anything. The number of significant figures is still 5. Zeros that are in front of a number are not considered significant. What if we added a zero in the back of a number? Does this change the number of significant figures? Yes. This zero is considered significant because it indicates a more accurate measurement. Any zero added to the right of a number is considered significant. In case you were wondering, the zeros in between numbers are also considered significant. Now the reason we want to know the number of significant figures that we have becomes very important when we multiply and divide. Suppose we have 5.0 times 6.5. Notice that each number contains two significant figures. When we multiply 5.0 times 6.5, the computer tells us that the answer is 32.5, which has three significant figures. But 5.0 and 6.5 are measured to the accuracy of only two significant figures. We cannot have a result that contains three significant figures because we did not measure to that point of accuracy. The answer must contain two significant figures, therefore we round up and the answer is 33. Suppose we change 5.0 so that it has five significant figures. Does this change our answer? No, because 6.5 still contains only two significant figures. It is the lowest number of significant figures that we have and the answer should always have the same number. Therefore, the answer is still 33. If the lowest amount of significant figures is 3, then the answer would have 3 significant figures. The same rules apply to division. If we divide 4 by 12, the computer tells us that the answer is 0.3333 and so on. The lowest number of significant figures that we have is 1, Therefore, our answer should have only one significant figure. The rules are different for addition and subtraction. Here we have 8.9 and 15. The smallest place value for each number is the tens and the ones place. The computer says that the answer is 23.9. This time the answer should have the same place value as the larger place value between the tens and the ones, which is the ones. Therefore, we round up, and the answer is 24. The same rule applies to subtraction. We have 6.928 with the smallest place value in the thousands place, minus 3.4 with the smallest place value in the tens place. When we calculate this, the answer is 3.528. The answer should end with the place value that is the larger of the two that we have. This should be the tens place. Therefore, the answer is 3.5. Therefore, to summarize, significant figures are important because they represent real accurate measurements. 
And the number of significant figures are important because it keeps calculations consistent with the accuracy of the measurements that were taken. Thank you for watching this video. If you are interested in helping me take my work to the next level, please visit my Kickstarter project. The link is in the description. The project ends February 9th, and I would appreciate any type of support. Thank you.